Welcome back. There is a live look outside from the Oregon coast. Our in at Spanish Head Resort Hotel camera in Lincoln City. Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. It's been said to help with everything from quitting smoking to losing weight. But what exactly is hypnotherapy and how does it work? Here to share more, we welcome certified hypnotherapist Glenn Rotman. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, you are welcome. Thanks for having me here. I love to be able to come on and kind of really share this gift of what hypnotherapy really is and how quickly and amazingly it can change people's lives. So what is hypnotherapy if we just have no concept of what that even means? Sure. The best way I define it is that hypnosis, it's an ability that we all have. It's an ability that we have to get past the limitations of our conscious mind and through our imagination, work with our unconscious mind in a way to make rapid, instant changes in our life. So how do you use this gift? How did you discover, I guess, in the first place, this was something that you were able to connect with people on? Sure, well, it's been a part of my life the whole time. Hypnotherapy is a form of guided meditation. It's the most effective form of guided meditation that there is and the most powerful. But back in high school, I, I took a course called the Silva Method in self-hypnosis, which really just is meditation. And then throughout my life, it's always playing out in the back of my mind that I should be doing more with it. And then some years ago, I decided that it was time for me to really get back to what I wanted to do. And I went to hypnotherapy school. I realized I knew all this stuff already and then I put it into action and I love the world that I've created that I get to be in. Doing hypnotherapy, working with clients, having an online community, it's just a, it, it's amazing that I get to share this gift with people on a daily basis. Yeah, so what are some things that people come to you with problems they'd like to solve or issues they'd like to tackle in their own lives? You know, people think of the common things we all think of when it comes to hypnotherapy, right? Things like smoking, weight loss, fear of flying, fear of swimming, those type of things, which it's so effective for. But the other areas as well, things like people that want to open up a new business, but they have some limiting beliefs about their life through their past mistakes that are keeping them from moving forward in areas in their life. You know, people that have been through some pretty traumatic relationships that need to find the courage to let go of the past and to start again. So those are some of the ways that hypnotherapy is the most effective, especially with things like childhood trauma or just some traumatic experiences in your life. Moving through that, nothing works quicker than hypnosis in this area. Do you have people come to you and say, I've tried meditation before, but it's so hard to quiet my mind and my thoughts and I need some help breaking through that? Yes, that's an amazing question. That is a daily question that I get all of the time and the thing is you know there's different practices of meditation one is to try to clear your mind of thoughts which most people find really difficult to do unless you've been working in that area for a very long time when it comes to hypnotherapy i'm guiding you and during this session i even explained to you that if you have thoughts that are coming and going let them come and go you'll still be able to focus on my voice and do the work that's most important to you. So really, for people that don't feel they can meditate or have tried and their, their noise in their head is just too much, this is the perfect solution. In many ways, I, I kind of say hypnotherapy is a gateway. It's a gateway into a practice of meditation in your life. Okay. Which I, which I believe and I know we all need yeah, we do. We need those quiet moments where we can find them. Do you have a quick exercise you could walk us through? Sure. We can. I can do a couple things. So if people are driving, I would. Well, they know he's probably driving, listening to this. But we could just sit in a quiet space, and we can close our eyes. And anybody listening can just close their eyes down now. And I wonder if you do that. Can you focus on your upper lip and take a slow, deep breath in? Notice if you can feel the air coming over your upper lip into your nose, all the way down into your lungs. And when you exhale through your nose, 
see if you can feel that same air. And let's make a practice. Let's take a few breaths, breathing in, noticing that air gently coming over your upper lip. And when you exhale, release it. And while we do that, we can just gently think a positive thought about life. Still noticing that air coming in over the upper lip. Noticing it, exhale, and just think a positive, happy thought about life and smile. So simple, but that's a great way to give yourself that moment of the day to focus on something positive and have a quiet moment. That's a real quick, that's just the mindfulness exercise that I do to get people tuned up. When we pay attention to something like the air coming in over our lip, we start to focus less on the outside world. So that really, that's just not even getting warmed up to what we do, but sure. that's a good little warm up just to become aware of that. And, you know, there's so many things that hit us in a daily basis that we're not aware of. You know, we get hit with as much information in one day as our grandparents did in one year through all the input. You know, you're always, you're hearing when you're not aware of it. You're seeing when you're not aware of it. There's billboards, the internet, your cell phone, other people, conversations, all of these things we take in. So we need a place to go, to let go of that, to ground and to center. And for many of us that live in cities, we, you know, we've kind of lost our connection to nature. And that's so important. So this is a great way of getting that back. You're so Easy. right, Glenn. Thank you so much. I wish we had more time. We're going to take a quick break now, but thank you for spending some time with us today. Absolutely. So good to see you. And you too. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.